Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial today. We're going to be using our watercolour card along with our elements and we're going to be braying that colour onto the card and then using some water, just showing you a really nice effective way of creating a black background. So let's get started. Um, it, there's a slight colour in this, as you can see against the white there, it's just sort of off-white really. I'm going to be using the Blue Lagoon. So what I'm going to do first of all is ink up and then I'm going to take those first few layers off and the very, very edge and this will stop you getting lines on your card. And then very, very lightly and gently, I'm going to just flick that brayer up the card. Over and over. And I'm going to repeat that process. So take off, take the edge off, and then build that colour up gradually and that will give you a smoother finish. So again, ink up, take off, and just keep working with it over and over and blend that colour. Now it's obviously slightly more fibrous, this card, so you will get a little bit of a texture there in the background. But this doesn't matter because the technique we're going to be using, we're going to use the fan brush and some water. And now we're going to just flick that water over the top. And the water reacts with the ink. It pulls the colour to the surface. And then we're going to take some tissue paper and then we're going to just blot that out. And if you want to repeat that process over and over again, that's fine. You can put as much or as little on as you want. Now, if you want to bring another colour in over the top of that as well, that's absolutely fine. So I've got Sundance Yellow here. So I'm going to ink up again, exactly the same way, take off a little, take the edge off, and then I'm just going to take that over the top. And that gives us a really nice background ready to start. Now I am going to flick a little bit more water on again. I just think it gives a really pretty effect. So just leave it for a few seconds, depending on how much you want that colour bleached out. And then dab off. And there we go. So let's just dry that off. got some floral stamps here that I'm going to be using today. So I'm inking up now in the twilight. This is the VersaFine Claire. So let's just pop that down. Give that a good press. Let it just rest a while on your card and we just need to give the um, ink a little bit of more time to soak into the card because of the fibres in it. Now I'm going to ink up again and this time I'm going to take off and then just pop one below. 
so it's very much we've got foreground and background there and then I've got my little one is these come in a set by the way all the stamps that we're using will be listed so which helps me because I never remember the names of them <laughs> Although my excuse is we've got quite a few hundred stamps, so now we're going to use another set here. These are lovely. These are really, really delicate. And this time I'm going to ink up in the uh, Glamour. This is the Versafine Claire again. It's almost like a raspberry red. It's quite a pink red rather than a pillar box red. And I'm just going to pop one up there. Now you can see I've finished the stem here. And that's simply because I needed the length of it. So I'm going to turn that around and just line it up best I can. Bob that down there to give you that length. And then Let's ink up again. These come in a pack of three. Pop one there. Turn that around. Carry it on. And there's my last one. So ink up and we're going to pop that down there like so. Now I've got some little stamps here which are great little fillers and you don't have to use the ones that I'm using today. Uh, we do plenty of sort of miniature uh, foliage stamps so feel free to use whichever you have. I'm going to ink up now in the Golden Meadow. I find this a fabulous colour. Um, it's the cover it, it's quite yellow on the cover but actually it's quite a sort of mustard green I would say. Nevertheless, it's um, it's lovely. It's a lovely colour. So again, I'm going to now move on to another stamp, and we're going to ink up in the warm breeze. Just by layering your stamps, it's giving you um, dimension. And now I'm going to just pop a few words down. Going back to the twilight, ink up my words. I'm going to stamp off, because I only want them to be very much in the background. to bring a little bit more depth down the bottom here. I've got the graphite so starting at the very base of your card just work your way up. Now I don't want to overdo it, I don't want to um, brush out all those lovely colours so just a little, just to give it a little bit more depth again. So now I'm going to use our lovely Posca pens. Give that a shake and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. You don't need to be precise, just just 
just dot the um, open areas. As I say, you don't need to fill the whole thing. I think if you filled the whole thing, it would start looking very flat. Um, and we'll do it with this one as well. There we go. So I've got my uh, Zig glue pen here as well because we'll do a little bit of foiling over the top. Got one of our sheets here. So I think that's dry. Yeah, dries pretty quick. And now I'm just going to go over the odd one or two. And down here as well. Now initially it comes out blue and then when it turns quite tacky and it's ready for the foil it will go clear. Now if you if you don't wait for it to go tacky then the foil won't stick to it so try to be patient. There we go, I reckon that's ready to go now. So remember to put the uh, shiny side up. And then all we're going to do is just press over the top. And we'll do that down here as well. Now you might not see that under the camera. You might do, you might not. Uh, I think I've got that but it gives you a fabulous effect. Right now I am going to use a Posca just to create a little bit of magic going on down here in the corner. So just give that a shake. And then we're gonna just tap the little dots. Again, I think that's just a fabulous effect. Let's just check. That's dry. Yep. Okay. And now, what colour shall we go with? I think that's platinum. Yeah, let's just go with... What I'm doing is just running up some lines. And then I'll just use my finger. There we go. So you can see that lovely glitter now on the card and I think those colours look fabulous together green and red. They do complement each other really nicely. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves, pick up your brayer, pick up your elements and create some of those lovely backgrounds using the fabulous inks. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.